Welcome along to another quick battle video of Star Trek Bridge Commander. Now today we will be featuring a special battle based on the Stargate SG-1 episode Camelot where we saw the Ori enter the Milky Way galaxy for the first time and they were faced against they were faced off by 10 Hatak class or Gua'uld motherships which were put together by both the Free Jafar and the Tok'ra and we also see an O'Neill class Asgard mothership right there and there is a bit of a dispute considering what kind of a class of ship that the Asgard sent some say that it wasn't the O'Neill class because it looked smaller which which it did but it might have been a, an error by the uh, CGI department who knows but we only have the O'Neill class available to us and we added two X304s I've added two Korolevs because I wasn't too sure which ones had the uh, Asgard beam weapons and which ones didn't and of course we have four Ori motherships that just came through the super gate which is turned off because if I don't turn it off then um, backup arrives we don't want any backup at this moment because four is the amount of ships that came through the um, super gate in the original episode so that's what we're gonna stick with and of course there are 10 Hatak class motherships that we will now turn into our enemies and then we will attack them as per the recreation of the episode so let's begin so enemy 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 <laughs> and then i will have to order my fleet to attack uh, which we will do now hopefully no one uh, crashes into each other fleet uh, attack there we go we will focus our fire on the o'neill class because that is the main threat That is the most powerful ship in, in the fleet, so we have to destroy that as soon as possible. We're doing quite a good amount of damage at the moment, which is good. We just need one or two beam hits and then the Asgard ship should be destroyed. They're able to hit, take some direct hits, but that's the end of the Asgard. So now to focus on the attack ships. We'll whittle down their shields using the secondary weapons and then we'll fire the beam weapons. Now these are the upgraded Hatak ships because otherwise they would be too easy to defeat. I wanted a bit of a challenge. Let's make sure he knows that he's our enemy. Now at this point, yes, sir. the uh, Milky Way did get a bit of a backup by three additional attack ships. So we will add them now. Um, where are they? Gwauld. Motherships, attack upgrade. So three more. These were led by the Lucian Alliance and Tuke to help aid the uh, Tauri and the Tok'ra as well as the Free Jafar. It was obviously didn't tip the scales of the of the battle but it did help the survivors but we won't have any survivor in this recreation unfortunately we're gonna be uh, no mercy we're gonna give no mercy in this battle Captain, we have collapsed that ship is here. heavily damaged but it's still fighting Hopefully we can disable it. We'll leave a few disabled ships if we can. That's how it was in the TV show, so... We're trying to disable it, but no. That's destroyed. We'll only disable one ship. I think that's enough. Let's whittle down the shields of this. This one's been untouched. The backup is helping a bit. Wait, what? What lasts for too long. Poor Tuke is gonna die in this recreation. Their left 
shield is draining. Tia captain. did, of course, do the voice of Kratos in the new God of War. There goes another attack warship, mothership. Just wanted to see the explosion before we go on to another one. Sir, we are draining their top shield. One of the Coralevs is still alive. Or the X3 of fours. There goes another attack, and there goes the last Coralev. Goodbye. <laughs> Just four more attack ships, attack mother ships to go. This is going as much as expected, as well as expected, I mean, for them at least. Not fire on targets. I think that's Teok's attack. Training, I was going behind the uh, super gate for protection. It's not gonna help. <laughs> oh. Couple more shots. Oh, I think I'm hitting the super gate. Okay, he is getting some protection. There goes the. Uh, there's only one left. What's this? Oh, it's a little cargo freighter or whatever it is. Cargo ship. And that's destroyed. As to be expected. And the battle's over. Relatively easy for. Uh, for the four RI ships, as to be expected, to be honest, because they did wipe the floor with the entire fleet in the TV show as well. And that's exactly how it's gone. So we are going to leave this surviving ship just to get the message across. But it is not over. Because the RI have detected another universe through that hmm, suspicious looking wormhole uh, or anomaly Intercept that they've detected. So plotted. let's go Intercept investigate. The uh, RA warships did take a bit of damage, that one especially. I don't know if it ran into someone or something. But it looks fine otherwise, shields. We're going to ask our friends to stay here, so we're going to tell the fleet to stop here. Sending orders. We're going to go through the wormhole alone and investigate. They will look after the, uh, the super gate, just in case someone else tries to destroy it. Intercept course plotted. Whilst we're on the way to the uh, Bajoran wormhole, we'll just go on the outside view because the ship is so slow <laughs> at sublight speed. It's only going at 2100 kph, which is very slow for a ship in, uh, in Star Trek Bridge Commander. But it is menacing looking, so uh, I'll forgive it for that. And it does indeed look like a toilet seat as the... <laughs> The Stargate community used to describe it as the uh, R.I. warship. A very slow warship. We're nearly there. Only 40 kilometers to go. In the meantime, we listen to some banging music. <laughs> and we will, of course, when we cross over to the other universe the Star Trek universe, we will be facing Deep Space Nine and the orbiting ships, the ones that are defending Deep Space Nine. We'll see how that goes. Should be able to take them all out with one ship. Won't, we won't be needing our friends over here. We're just about on the, on the mouth of the wormhole. Should be opening anytime soon. And there we are, the infamous Bajoran wormhole. Will our ship fit in the mouth? Uh, barely. It's still, hopefully we get through. Yes, we made it. And our friends decided to come along. Hopefully they don't intervene. So uh, let's exit towards yes, Deep Space Nine. Exiting to Deep Space Nine. Let's not forget the funky wormhole effects. <laughs> and there we are. We are in Deep Space Nine. We will need to 
switch the sides of Deep Space Nine and the ships surrounding it to enemies because they normally default as friendlies. So we'll do that now. Switch sides to enemy. Oh, we need to do it for everyone. Otherwise, they'll attack each other. There we go. The Defiant got destroyed straight away. I think that was by... by Deep Space Nine. We'll pull it out of his misery. We'll take out the Oregon first, which is the weakest ship. Why is Deep Space Nine attacking it? I don't understand. Oh, I think Deep Space Nine is trying to attack the RI ships. The RI ships won't be intervening. They're just a distraction. I think we'll, we'll take on the Deep Space Nine first. Since that is the biggest threat, they have so many torpedo launchers. Look at that, how many torpedoes they just sent at us. Our attacks are draining their are they... shield. They have got someone in tractor beam, I don't know who. I guess we'll find out. Once we get closer. But I don't know why they're attacking the other surrounding ships, because they're all classed as enemies. Is that the Defiant? They're attacking the Defiant, no? No, the Defiant's destroyed. Have to get closer to do more damage. So we have finally got through their shields. We're just destroying the... I don't know, the outer ring, I guess. We nearly got through it. They still got torpedo capabilities. We're through the the ring. Now we can attack the station directly. The ship moves so slowly. <laughs> okay, I wanna go down a bit. I wanna attack the Our middle of the station directly. I think that's where the main power power generator is. That's where we want to get at. That's it. See, we've already created a massive hole. And that's the end of Deep Space Nine. Goodbye, Captain Cisco. Now we can focus on the other ships. The USS Excalibur. Which is doing actually quite a lot of damage to our ship. But it's such a big target and it has so many weak shields that it's gonna get destroyed really easily. Look at that. <laughs> shields already down. One more hit. We'll probably do it. Ooh, almost. <laughs> and that big explosion marks the end of the Excalibur. We'll put the Defiant out of this misery if we can. But I don't think we can even touch it because there's only a little bit of debris left. What's left? Oh, it's a little shuttle. Captain, we have collapsed their body oh, it looks like a Marquis Raider. That's destroyed. Now let's go after the Intercept others. Plotted. We're attacking our friendly ships. So they, they were a distraction at least. Even if they're not really doing anything. Since it doesn't really matter. So let's close up if we can. The ship is a bit weird when it comes to trying to intercept, so we'll do it a bit manually. And see intercept if we can course. intercept that Fine. way. Nope, it's not feeling it. Let's try closing intercept in on that ship. Plotted. Yeah, this worked a bit better. Focus on me, I'm the main threat. There you go. Half his shields are gone. Come on, focus on me. Okay, 
The Lakota is actually holding up quite nicely to the beam weapons. Surprisingly, I mean, it's in Excelsior class shit. Granted, it is an upgraded version. There we go, now they're concentrating on us. The shields have been disabled and they've been dis pretty much disabled as well. Let's focus on the bridge, if it still exists, phases. Several enemy ships have entered the system. There marks the end of the Lakota. It stood up nicely. Let's Sir, end this little uh, runabout. There it goes. And I think we'll end it with the uh, destruction of a book ship. And <laughs> that took only one shot. They're from the Gamma Quadrant. And that is it. We've destroyed enemies from both the Stargate universe and the Star Trek universe. Some relatively strong ships that we face, but um, the Ori ships are just more than powerful enough to deal with almost any threat. They swept aside both the Asgard, the human X-304 ships, and all of those 13 Hatak Gwauld motherships with no problems at all. Pretty much exactly what was expected to happen. So I, I hope you enjoyed the battle and uh, please leave a like and subscribe. It really, really helps the channel. And uh, I'll catch you guys next time for the next battle.